privilege to be here with all of you today on your first day of being at the APJ Satya University. I cannot start without remembering our chairman, our founder chancellor, Dr. Satya Paul. It was his vision and mission which started us on this journey towards contribution, towards education, man-making, and nation-building, and world-building. Dr. Satya Paul, as many men of you may have read about him, but very briefly, was somebody who rose from very humble beginnings eldest of the family of seven brothers and sisters, very small family business of making buckets. How small you can understand when I tell you that he, they could not afford electricity when he was growing up, and much of his education was conducted with the help of a lantern. It was much later in life that they had electricity. He uh, went on to do his MA Mathematics from, and was gold medalist from Combined Punjab, wanted to go back and teach at a college. He was refused because he was physically challenged. In those days, he used to walk with crutches. It was, he had polio when he was very small. It was much later in life when he could afford that he went for a surgery to Boston and was then walking around with calipers and walking stick that took him from different parts of the world. But he was also a freedom fighter who fought in the Quit India movement, was jailed in fact, and when he was refused this uh, to go and join that college and teach, he did go back to the family business. By then he had lost his father, mother much earlier, so he was the eldest, bringing up his brothers and sisters and taking up that family business to build it into one of the known industrial empires of the country. But his passion, his uh, focus on how important education was in the process of the growth and development of India and the world at large is what made him set up the first APJ school and the first APJ college. The focus was to create an environment where the potential of every child could be developed in all its dimensions, not only intellectual, but emotional, spiritual, physical, and all of that. And in this, he wanted them also to be imbued with human values. That focus has continued through the 23 schools and colleges, which now APJ runs all over the country. Because the focus has not been on numbers, the focus has been on building excellence. And the APJ Satya University was a continuation of that dream to set up a center of learning where the minds from different parts of the world and different parts of the country came together, the best of the minds, and were able to therefore go out into the world, not only enriched, but to contribute to the world and humanity at large. As part of this vision, there was a lot of soul searching that what is the kind of education that is needed in today's world so that it is truly the kind of education which is needed to make that difference. And when one were reflecting, the thought came, you definitely needed an institution we had, which had sufficient academic freedom and flexibility to allow each student to pursue what was of the deepest interest and desire to them in the, and be responsible for their own learning in life while retaining the rigorous framework for learning so that their degree continues to carry a meaning in the professional world. At the same time, because we are also, I wear three hats, we are industrialist and education and 
also part of the Chambers of Commerce and the community giving as such. When I look at it from the industry point of view, we realized that there is a real gap and a need. So on one side, you have a lot of educated students, but they are more or less unemployable, a huge percentage of them, I'm very sorry to say. So where was the gap? The gap was, from the industry's point of view, you need students who have the ability to think for themselves, to be able to analyze effectively, and to be able to apply what they have learned, and to continue to learn and to grow and to develop. You need people who are able to collaborate and work together in teams. You need people who are thinking of solutions and not disciplines. When, as an industry, we need to solve a problem, you are not looking for who is the physics expert or the civil engineer expert. You are looking for a team who will sit together and find a solution. The world is not broken up into disciplines, not the real world in which all of us live and breathe. And therefore, we put into place an academic system which reflected some of the best practices of the world, wherein you had the nucleus for not just interdisciplinary, but eventually multidisciplinary and transdisciplinary education. Wherein we found that the way to be able to foster creative thinking, analytical thinking, is not just having students go through a liberal arts course, but to embed a liberal arts thinking and philosophy in every subject and degree that they pursued. To ensure that every student had access to the kind of knowledge and information which was relevant to the building up of his mind where he was looking at topics holistically and not just from point of view of a narrow discipline. To allow students, if they change their minds midstream, that look, I always thought I wanted to be a civil engineer, for example, but I suddenly realized that my real love is mass communication. Or if that's going too far, I suddenly realize that my real love is mechanical engineering. Well, guess what? You could change, you could have an additional minor, and there are very many flexible options that are available for all of you. And this is not experimental. This is what is happening in the best of the universities across the world. There is a quote from Patanjali which says, when you are inspired by some great purpose, some extraordinary project, all your thoughts break their bonds, your mind transcends limitations, your consciousness expands in every direction, and you find yourself in a new, great, and wonderful world. Dormant forces, faculties, and talents become alive, and you discover yourself to be a greater person by far than you ever dreamed yourself to be. This is what drives this university, and this is what I hope will drive each one of you over here. In your journey through this university, I would urge you to take advantage of all the opportunities that the university offers. A lot of learning doesn't take place only in the classrooms but takes place out of it. We are committed to continue growth and development of the university in different dimensions. And through your journey, you will find that every semester, every year, there will be transformatory changes, both in the infrastructure, the student facilities, but most of all, in the continuum of the education that you are receiving over here. Rahe talab mein, rahe talab mein jazbaye kamil ho jiske saath. If your intensity of desire is combined with the intensity of dedication. Rahe talab mein jazbaye kamil ho jiske saath, khud bhoond leti hai manzil usse kabhi kabhi. 
if your intensity of desire is combined with the intensity of dedication, then the desired goal itself will seek you out. Wishing you all the very best. Thank you.